Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Now let's look at the uh, rub uh, the sorry the template for the portfolio. I'll just go through briefly so you know how to write a good portfolio report. Here is the it's supposed to write your project name and this is the date of your submission. And here you can put any photo about your project over here. So you can put any photo that reflects the overall project. Okay. And um, here is the project name again and uh, the leader, name and metric number and then the secretary and then secretary plus all other members. And this when you start the date of the project and what's the completion of the date. And uh, here explain what's the in this part, explain what the project will deliver and what it was needed and what's the long term benefit it will be. So basically this uh generally if the same your project is the same as your proposal then you can like summarize your proposal into here. Uh what is the project all about? Uh, make sure you have introduction as well and why is it needed and then what's the long-term benefit and then here uh, the objective of the project you can write over here this section over here the objectives and uh, uh, and then if it's achieved uh, then you can say achieve if not achieve why okay and then over here on this section activities described Describe the activities done by the members of the group, date, photos, and everything. This is very important. Here it has to be detailed. All the details should be over here. Mm, details of the activities done. So uh, you can put photos. You need to put table of con uh, of uh, you know of meetings. Um, any append uh, uh, letters. All evidence you can put over here. Okay, this is the this must be the 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 overall. Okay, then including here is the, um, you can put also, in, include here is the finance or the budget. So you see, this is the overall, this is the heart of the report. Okay, then uh, changes incorporated, describe if there's any change made during the com as, uh, as compared to the one in the proposal. So this one, if you have made any changes, uh, add, uh, that change from the original proposal then you can write here the changes one two three and then uh, here it's also important outstanding risks and issues so if there's any risk uh, of the project or issue and how you mitigate how you mitigate the issue so here need to be a, a bit critical about your project then uh, post project review <coughs> this is <coughs> excuse me document of the plan of the action reflection the most important here is the reflection so did the deliverables meet the quality criteria the team have the right skills were any error or problems detected early enough to fix the lowest possible cost so basically over here is yeah so you've done your project so it's about reflection. This the main is actually about reflection. What you think about the project? Did you manage to uh, achieve everything? Is there anything that you can improve? Uh, this is what you're so, supposed to write. And then uh, here, uh, governance. Answer the following questions. Uh, how well was the project organized? Were rules and responsibilities clear? The project have the right mix skills and to make the project were the stakeholders engaged and managed effectively was the communication management strategy effective so here in this part <coughs> so you uh, you can talk about the roles and responsibility uh, so uh, have all member done their their part so or there's a mix or they like you help each other or something okay and then you have the right skill so if you have then you can say you have if not you say uh, you are lacking of this but therefore you show that you learn uh, how to to do certain things and then uh, this important stakeholders how do you how do you engage 
with the stakeholders. Stakeholders. So the stakeholders can be your customer, the one who benefit from you, uh, and also the authorities, also uh, the stakeholders. So you can here you can uh, write how you engage with them and how and how's the engagement is it. Do they accept it? So this is where you show that uh, they actually benefited from your project. So you want to make a survey or you can show some survey results or some you can interview them, right? Then or you can ask them to fill in a feedback form, something like that. Okay, and then this is the planning and control. How good were the plans and estimate of resources? How would the estimate of time were the monitoring? Okay, generally here, you just uh, talk about um, uh, so how this is the estimate for the resources, meaning the, the things that you buy. Is it uh, all utilized? Is it enough or not enough? What do you think uh, about the cost? Again, you can maybe put some costing over here whether the cost is according to what you uh, plan or is beyond okay, you can discuss that mm. uh, stakeholder management or stakeholder identification management engagements are successful effective so this is similar you, you can maybe remove this one if you want remove this one then because it's similar to the above so here sharing lessons learned recommended good practice show Show examples. Show examples of good practice from this project that can be shared with other future projects. So you can list down lah. You can list down one, two, three, so on. And lesson learned. This is also part of your reflection. What you can learn, uh, you can write over here. Okay. So prepared by is the secretary. And approved by is the leader. Make sure you sign. You sign and date the signature. Signature. Okay, so that's all. If you have any question, then you can ask me in the class. Okay, Assalamualaikum.